Okay. Hi. I do not know where the tiny microphone is, so we are going sans tiny microphone. <sighs> I found the tiny microphone. Happy New Year! Welcome to 2021. Welcome to the Bi Book Boy. I am the Chaotic Bisexual. I read books. My name is Logan. If you subscribe to this channel, you may be asking, Logan, where did you go for the last two weeks? <laughs> well, I went to Montana. I tried to vlog it. Um, I read two books. I tried to vlog it. Um, it didn't work. Uh, but I got some cute little B-roll Montana, like, snowy mountain clips happening. So, like... Look at the snow, everybody. It's snowing. <laughs> There you go. Insert. So we are gathered here on January 2nd, although this video is going up on the 3rd, of the year of our Lord, 2022. Um, and we're going to talk about some shit because 2021 was crazy. Let's wrap up. Where is my list of books that I have read? Aha. Okay, for this episode, we're just gonna start the year off, right? I just showered, I have wet hair, we're gonna drink some caffeine, and we're gonna talk about what happened in 2021, we're gonna reflect, then we're gonna look forward and make some promises that I probably won't keep, but I tried. In 2021, I, I, the goal, the Goodreads goal was to read one book a week, which averages like 52, I think. Um, and I beat that one. I read. I read 64 books. <laughs> so we did it. We made it. We made it. Um, we had a few weeks where I, instead of reading one book, read two. There was one where I read three. There's been a few weeks where I've read none. So it balances out. But either way, we hit the goal. We beat it. We made it. It was good. It was fun. Um, we also did a bunch of tag videos. Uh, usually I reserve tag videos for when I don't finish a book <laughs> that week, because I need something to do. Um, either way, we made almost consistently at least one, if not two, videos a week. Um, which was fun. I like that. I like hanging out with people on the internet. I like you guys. It was a good time. It was very fun. It gave me something to do. We also read one book a month for the Buy Book Club, which was fun. Of those many books that I read, here's my top five. We're gonna do a top five, because I don't have favorites. These are all like tied for the best that I read this year. First, one of my top five is the first book I read this year, which is This Is How It Always Is by Laurie Frankel. This book is I I did a review of it. You can you can watch my review. Um I it's somewhere on my channel. Sobbed so hard. This book is the perfect example of parenting done right and how to parent a queer child and how to just create a welcoming space for for queer children. It's so good. It's j I have never cried so hard in my life. Um and I loved it. Another favorite book of mine, that's it's one, two, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Um, I loved this book so much. Bisexuality represented on the page so well. Also, old Hollywood represented so well. Also, just, just the narrative devices in this book are so good. So, like, check it out. Um, I didn't do a video on that one. Uh, that was a Buy Book Club book. Another one, Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. Love that book. There is a Netflix series out, um, a Swedish Netflix series that I need to binge, and I'm gonna when I get a second, but I'm gonna. Um, but this book is just such a wonderful exploration of what it's like to be a human being in today's society, and I laughed so hard and cried so hard. It was such a, just a great journey. Please check it out. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. 
um, by V.E. Schwab. Again, beautiful character story of what it's like to be human and what it means to be alive. Um, also, two fully realized bisexual people dating all genders on the page at all top like so good so good do it wonderful queer representation check it out last night at the telegraph club by melinda lowe the most beautiful description i've ever read of what it's like to be a young queer person discovering a safe space for yourself like like a club like a, a gay club or a lesbian club like <sighs> the ray bearer duology by jordan ifweco fantasy with queer representation and just uh, just just fantasy done right it's fantasy done right that's all i can say for you it's so good the writing's perfect jordan and fleco is the nicest person on the face of the planet it, just read those if you haven't already which if you haven't read those yet what the fuck are you doing with your life go read it come back afterwards there are more important things than watching me <laughs> oh, such as read Jordan's book. The entire canon of Ben Alderson. <laughs> There's so many, so many good young adult to adult fantasy books, um, ranging from different levels of smut, all featuring queer main characters written well. So good. So much fun. Fucking read them. Fucking read them. Go read them. On Halloween, I binged the first three books of the of the Vampire Chronicles by Anne Rice. God rest her soul. Um, that was a devastating moment. That was a low for me when Anne Rice died. Um, this year, but like those books, again, incredible vampire lore. Like. The, like, defining vampire books, generation-defining vampire books, also generation-defining or defining queer books, because all of her characters are bisexual. Every single vampire in those books is bisexual and bisexual on the page, and it's just so good. I said top five. I listed, like, 12 books. It's fine. I'm not gonna do a, a, a least favorite five, because I just don't. If I don't like a book, I usually DNF it, you know? 2022. Going forward. What are we planning? I'm gonna stick to solid 52 again. Gonna get one book a weekend, just because there's a lot of stuff coming down the pipeline in general. Um, but yeah, at least one book a week. What else do you have coming? Lots of reading vlogs, because I discovered in the second half of this year that reading vlogs are so much fucking fun for me to do, um, and they're also just so much easier than sit-down <laughs> reviews. It's so much easier to edit those things. It's just so much fun. So I'm doing a lot of reading vlogs. Also, tags. I'm gonna start doing more tags. Um, I feel like this would be a really fun way to get to ensure like ensure one video a week would be like one tag video a week and one book review a week which would be really fun um am i gonna commit to that absolutely not <laughs> no there are, do, do, you're, what you look where you are you're on the buy book boy we don't commit to things um <laughs> I would like to do more advanced readers copies because I really liked the the ones that I was sent this year. I was sent like four or five um, and I did read them. It took me a second to get to them but I did read them and I liked them. So please send me more of those because I like them. I like feeling like I'm in on a secret that the rest of the world doesn't know yet. Other things that I'm doing. I'm gonna try and start involving more poll content in my YouTube channel. Um, I, those of you that follow my Instagram know that I am a pole dancer. I love pole dancing. It's like my therapy. Um, and reading and pole dancing are kind of like my two favorite things right now. So I want to join them. I want to bring them in. Um, and I also know that there are a lot of badass pole dancers that are also booktubers and nobody talks about it. So like, join me. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Not telling you what that means, because I might not get to it, but, um, I'm gonna try. <laughs> that's, that's what we got going forward, guys. So thank you so much for sticking with me for the year that was 2021. Um, let's hit 2022 like a ton of bricks and just go for it. Um, 
I don't know what that means. Thank you all for being my friends and for going through 2021 with me and for entering 2022 with me. I can't wait to just continue to explore what this channel is and to continue exploring how queer representation in books is growing because it is growing and it's ever changing and I enjoy talking to you about it. Oh yeah. And as always, thank you so much for sticking around and helping out. If, if you enjoyed 2021 with me um, and you want to be around for 2022, hit that like button and subscribe and ring the notification bell so you can get my videos whenever I decide to post them. And as always, this has been the Bye Book Boy and I'm saying bye.